Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. All right, let's do it. Oh, damn it. All right, hello out there. Welcome to another VRC Pro video. This one's a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, I just wanted to go over the all-inclusive license. So this will be an overview of all DLC. If you're looking for a basic review, you know, I also have that, so you can check out that video. All right, so first, we have the 1 8th Electric Buggy DLC. You know, you can tweak all the settings of it, build it up from all the various parts, change out tire compound, you know, all the basic stuff. I really like this buggy too. It's really it's really nice. I like the electric stuff. That's I personally run electric off-road trucks. So this one's right up my alley. See, so yeah, I dig it. Next up is the Deluxe Car Pack. This gives you uh six high-performance modified cars, so you're going to get tweaked set modified settings basically to let you run faster so you're going to want this if you want to compete more um you know and then from these modified parts you'll be able to enter more events and then you also get uh a couple of bonus parts for the short course truck you get three different motors and uh the tekken rx8 speed controller all right, so moving on to Deluxe Off-Road Track Pack. Up first is Buenos Aires. This is a world track speed paradise, host of the 2012 IFMAR Worlds Championship. It's a pretty cool track. Got some nice, uh, here's some nice jumps. Nice little bumps and curves. I dig it. Up next is Pattaya, Pattaya, I don't, whatever. <laughs> it's, uh, it was home of the 2010 IFMAR Worlds and Asia Contest by Biddy Design. This is the 2012 layout. And I apologize in advance for butchering track pronunciations. So up next we have Neo 8. This is Harper Adams, the 2013 layout. It's an indoor track. I dig this one too, it's pretty nice. It's actually pretty, pretty big for an indoor track. But yeah, as you can see, it has a, you know, a lot of nice, a lot of nice jumps and curves to it. Up next is Montpellier. This is a France track. I really like this. This one actually might be my favorite, I think, because it has a nice uh, terrain changes and trees and shading. I, I just like the feel of the whole thing. And finally, we have Naxos. From Sicily, Italy. This was the host of the 2014 IFMAR Buggy Worlds. Uh, I dig this one too. Actually, <laughs> I guess that's going to be a recurrent theme as I dig them all. But mainly the point of this is I just want to show you all of the tracks. Oh, oh, nice recovery. And now we have Fear Farm 13. This is the 2013 edition. Coast of the Dirt. This one, I'm pretty sure this one gets decent rotation in the uh, events. People really like this one. And this is Neo 9. It's a 2014 layout of another Harper, Ad Harper Adams indoor track.
And up next is Silver Dollar. This is uh, from the 2015 Roar Nationals. Got a nice uh, welcome to Costco, I love you in the background. <laughs> Here we have Psycho Nitro Blast. This one has a, a really cool, uh, really cool ramp on it. Let's see, it's coming up. Get to it. Hold. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. <laughs> I love that part. Actually, it's so good. Let's see it again. Yeah, and you can get some nice air on this one too. And rounding out the off-road track two, we have IPR Padova. This is one of the premier off-road complexes in Europe. This indoor facility, I really dig the little uh, bridge in it too. Next up is off-road tracks three. First we have RC Excitement two. This is from the 2013 layout. Nice little medium-sized indoor track. Cnetic. This is a pretty big outdoor track. It has some nice uh, changes in elevation, some nice ramps. I totally suck on this one. <laughs> yeah, this one, uh, I couldn't find other playthroughs of it, so this is me racing this one, and I don't race this one very much. <laughs> pretty bad. Dope. And third in this track, we in this pack, we have a main outback. This is the Outback Raceway in Chico, California. This is a nice little indoor track. And here we have Silver Dollar One, another of the uh, Costco I Love You. And another uh, from Harper Adams. This is Neo X from 2015. And moving on to the next pack, we have the Asia on Road Tracks. This is Atsugi 2005 from Japan. This is uh, located right next to Kyosho Operation Center. This is uh, suitable only for one-tenth scale. And next we have Tokyo SPL-1. This track is located in a park one hour outside of Tokyo. SPL-1 track is one of the oldest permanent tracks in Japan. Interesting little tidbit. And here we have Atsugi 2006. This is Tamiya. Tamiya Kakagawa, Japan, is a. It's used for a lot of the national and international championships. And finally, we have. Hokusai? Eww, I'm probably butchering that. It's located in the middle of Japan. It's host of several JMRCA Japanese nationals. Moving on, we have Deluxe Electric On Road Track. This is Bangkok. This is Bangkok Short. This is from the 2008 IFMAR World Tracks. 
And then we have Snowbirds 13, 2013. This is Orlando Oval. This is a race draws over 700 racers every year, so it's a pretty popular one. And just as an aside, it's also a fun one to drive around with the drifters. Heemsteed, I'm probably butchering that. This is uh, the special 2012 IFMAR World Edition of the famous Heemsteed track. Eppelheim 2 from 2012. LRP Masters track in Eppelheim, Germany. And then we have Ulu from Finland. This is home of the 2013 EFRA European Championships. I like to call it the matchstick track. Looks like a bunch of matchsticks for the barriers. And finally we have the Nitro on Road track pack. First up is Luxembourg from 2009. Features a new extension right after the famous and spectacular corkscrew corner at the end of the front straight. And another from Tokyo, SPL2. This is just located on the other side of the hill where SPL1 is. This is... Kaitun, I'm butchering that. Kaituni, um, <laughs> whatever it is, it's another Japanese track. I actually, I like the look of this one. It's like autumn. And we have Amstetten. This is a uh, hundred kilometers from Vienna, Austria. It's a small and tight track. And finally, we have Loret de Mar from Spain. This one has a nice little bridge that you cross under. It's pretty cool. So there you have it. I mean, that's a full overview of the DLC packs. I'm just going to uh, keep on racing. I could, yeah, I could use the practice. Oh! They can make it perfect through software. As really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Rebel bike destroyed. <laughs> the butt crawl! Do, 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 do. Okay. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh.